Hi, I'm Annie Botticelli, and this is the Storyteller Forecast for Gemini for September 2014. As you might notice, I am mobile. I'm a little bit crunched here against the seawall because the sun is all over there, and I don't want it in my eyes. But you can see these lovely sea grapes, my home in coastal um, Florida. So hopefully you love this beachy vibe that I'm sending to you. I'm so excited that I'm finally mobile. You know this has been a long process for me. Oh, there's a sandpiper talking. I don't know if you can see him on the piling over there, the post. Any case, definitely go to my website, AnnieHelpsYou.com, or click on the link below this video. If it's August 18th and afterwards, then you will see my new website that I've been working on and I'm so excited about. Um, and definitely sign up for that free email newsletter because you will become one of my VIPs when you do this and you'll be kept in the loop with all of the awesome things that I've got um, coming up. So what is up for Gemini for September? We've got some major transits happening in October that are very much current for September because we feel the energies of transits often well before they actually happen. So we've got Mercury going retrograde in October, October 5th through 25th. We've got two eclipses, a lunar eclipse in Aries and a solar eclipse in Scorpio. The general theme of the eclipses is the eclipsing out of some sense of individuality and the opening up of the chance for collaboration, partnership, deeper relationship. Um, that's the general theme from the signs of the eclipses. But the houses of the eclipses are what is different and what is unique to the different signs. So for Gemini, this lunar eclipse is going to occur in the house of friends and um, organizations, institutions, groups, teams. So many of you are going to have one of those things eclipsed out of your life. That's basically what happens is energy is cleared out, more energy is brought in, the lunar eclipse eclipses things out, the solar eclipse brings in new opportunities. And so there will be some releasing of something in your life. Um, and they will be bringing in of something new. So the new energies are mostly taking place in the sixth house, which is your day-to-day -day life. So a new um, routine, a new program. Um, this is the house of diet and exercise and meditation and yoga, um, different practices. Also the house of pets. Many of you will have a new pet with this transit. Um, so the energy of some group thing might be eclipsed out for something more individual or more day-to-day -day for you. Also, some of you are going to experience this energy in the fifth house, and it depends on the degree of your Gemini placement, but many of you are going to have the spirit of this energy be very much cuspy into the fifth house, and the fifth house is children and creativity and romance and true love, and so a new opening in one of those places. So something new coming in one of those areas. Um, so it could be, let's say you've been part of a group or a team, and let's say you met a new person, maybe the love of your life, while you were in that group. And now you guys are having so much fun together and so busy every day that you don't even have time to go to the group that you met anymore. That's an example of what can happen. Or let's say you were leading a team on something and now you become pregnant and you're tired and you don't want to deal with it or you can't deal with it or whatever. Um, or you have a new hobby and it starts to take over the time where you were involved with this group or this um, group project. So something like that, very much in that order, in the order of those energies. Now some of you may experience this as um, all very positive. Some of you may have challenges and positive, positive things. We don't really know, but we do know that because Uranus is very much involved, this conjunct, this um, lunar eclipse, the element of surprise and things coming out of the blue is supercharged. Eclipses tend to bring things out of the blue anyway. And when you've got Uranus involved, it's really going to bring things out of the blue. So it's not usually things you can anticipate. Many people are going to have a falling out in one of their friendships or the, the um, shifting out of a friendship from their life, maybe through a move, um, maybe through some other way, a friendship disappears from your life or a friend disappears from your life. And some of you will have a falling out and it may come as a great surprise. Someone you've been friends with for your whole life 
could all of a sudden be not your friend anymore. Um, so this can be very disconcerting. And if it does happen, at least know that the um, the energies uh, with the at least you have some sort of explanation. Um, but new things will come in place of that friendship or that situation. I had this very bizarre experience um, with, when an eclipse fell into a similar house for me a while ago where a very good friend of mine, we're very wired alike, we always get along, we always agree, never had any problems. All of a sudden we had a, a very bizarre falling out over something that was um, pretty silly. And I, I was really torn up about it because I don't really have that experience with my friendships. I have had friendships since my childhood and, um, and I like it that way. <laughs> um, but years went on and this friendship didn't come back and it, it plagued me. And then there was something that happened. And I'm not gonna go into the details of it because I wanna talk more about the report, but the point is that a series of events happened that would not have happened if we were friends that were completely necessary to both of our lives. And then after those events happened, we got back together as friends. and. We we laugh about the way things happened and we appreciate how the universe lined this up for us and we understand now, um, sorry about that, what happened. I'm trying to get this at a better angle without the sun, but it's not really working out very well. So, um, so now we understand, now we understand what happened. And you may have that experience too, so I just wanted to put that out there because some of you are definitely going to have this falling out with a friend. Or something will happen like that and you might not understand and you will over time um, possibly have that answer and you may be surprised at how awesome the universe was to set it up that way even though it might be hard to believe now so well, let me think about this okay so with these new things coming in we might be very much in a hurry to try to solidify some changes let's say you have a new job opportunity some people um, some Gemini's will this new um, solar eclipse in your workday house um, can bring in new work, can bring in busyness at work, can bring in new work projects, can bring in new work opportunities. If you're self-employed, you might have um, a new um, client. If you do contract work, you might have a new contract. But in any case, this is happening during the Mercury retrograde cycle. So from September 13th through November 10th, we're going to be in that Mercury retrograde cycle with the actual retrograde happening October 5th through 25th but the shadow period's happening before then and after then, which is very much current. So you're going to want to make some roots or do some permanent things and it's better off not to. If you have to move, you're better off doing something short term, um, a month to month, a week to week, something, so that you can see how the rest of these energies are going to um, manifest. You will think you know everything. You will want to make sudden decisions. The energy of Uranus can be very sweeping, um, very all-encompassing. But I promise you, the more you can do, leave flexibility in your plan, you will understand why you did that. Um, so we've got a very powerful full moon, a super Pisces full moon, um, September 8th, 9th. Some people feel the energies of those full moons beforehand. I often feel them two or three days beforehand. And then by the time the transit actually happens, I'm, I'm done with it. You know, my emotional fullness has happened. But this fullness for many of you is going to happen in the workplace something involving work, something involving a job. And this could be involved as a precipitating factor to the eclipse energies. So if something is coming to a head in September, it might be telling a story about what's going to come in October. Um, but trust the flow of the universe. Remember that your money actually does not come from your job or wherever you think it comes from, or your spouse's job or your family. Your money comes directly from the divine. Now, whoever you call the divine, whatever name you have for that benevolent source that um, we all come from, that all things come from, that is where your money comes from. And eclipses, and especially with the way they're placed here for you this month and these upcoming months, a very good spiritual practice to anchor into your being is that your money does not come from your job. You have to convince yourself of this because that is where the stability and peace will come from. You don't have to worry. People, so many people live in fear of keeping their job, losing their job. What's going to happen with their job? They have to take care of their family. Tapping into that spiritual source is part of the message of the eclipse cycle for everybody, but especially involving work um, and uh, other things like that that seem very, very basic to your survival. So, 
breathe, trust the process, trust the universe. Um, if you need some assistance with personal coaching or you'd like me to look at your chart and or you'd like me to look at your chart and see what, how these might be manifesting specifically for you, um, check out my website, AnnieHelpsYou.com. If this is August 18th or after, you will see my new site. Definitely sign up for my free email newsletter while you're there. You can see more now about my wonderful event and you actually can um, pre-register for that. The Astrology of 2015 and How to Rock It, which will be a very comprehensive program assisting you in understanding the planetary energies, what they're going to be doing for the year, and how you can master the lessons that they're trying to offer you. It's going to be really awesome. So check it out and have a wonderful September.